Mm. All right, welcome back. And we're back here for What's Up and About. Yes, indeed. It's nothing else up and about today except the inauguration, which is about to begin, yeah. uh, which is going to begin today. And of course, um, you know, it's, 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 it's something to talk about. Yeah. But I wanted to bridge something real quick. Sure. Or maybe I should let you do it. Just uh, yeah, right so, so there's so many different you know, things to talk about with this. Uh, but let's just say all roads lead to Eagle Square today um, as the inauguration of the president of Nigeria happens today. Now, this is to mark the commencement of a new four-year term for mm. the president of Nigeria. Um, and it's taking place at Eagle Square. So it's happened at uh, Eagle Square um, for a long time, mm -hmm, you know. Yeah. Exactly. It was formerly at TDS, uh, Tafar Bale was here a long time ago. Long time ago. Exactly. <laughs> so it's interesting. But then, have we actually talked to our kids about, you know, the history of Nigeria? And mm. have we actually talked about uh, different presidents before? Have you had those conversations? So this, funny you should say, because that was what I was going to say. My okay. daughter asked me this question okay. on Saturday, and I tried explaining to her, and then I realized how much of Nigerian history mm -hmm. we don't let our kids know or we are inadvertently oblivious to the fact that yeah. they're noticing these things happening but we're not defining it for them we're mm -hmm. not telling them this is what's happening mm -hmm. this is how it happens it's a four-year dispensation yeah. between presidents and so and so and so yeah so it's it's something that I'm thinking that parents need to yeah. add to even if you think they learn these in school mm -hmm. it's something that you consciously need to let them know about yeah. so the yeah. internet has largely helped um, some years back, because uh, I love giving quizzes, uh, there's something I do, Mary Upgrade My Weekend, where you have to answer questions. Yeah. And I realized that as at five years ago, eight years ago, you could not find trivia on Nigeria hmm. online. Oh, that is true. But now if you go online, just type Nigeria Triva, if trivia, trivia, you will yeah. find several questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah questions that have answers that you can learn your history from yeah. so much so that you get to know when we swapped from uh, pounds to naira yeah. these are things that are now easily accessible information mm. so it's something that i believe what what many countries do you see animations different cartoons yeah. that simplify it's this part knowledge. of their education exactly yeah. and it's very but we don't do that here it's, it's not intentional mm. in, yeah, exactly, uh, yeah. in nigeria it's unfortunate mm -hmm. history used to be a significant part of education yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah, was there was a period it was out of the curriculum yes it was but now it's back. there was a period yeah. it was yes. out yes. history was out yeah. of the curriculum yeah. 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 there was yeah there, there, was, there yeah. was i know mm. i'm not very why sure why would there ever be well, exactly why would there a, ever be a, a time where history, um, history was, was out of mm. the curriculum but yeah you know um as a as a country uh growing, growing up history for us we had more history on what i what we learned was the beginning kingdom so you hear about yeah. things like um What's her name now? Uh, okay. What's the princess of the Benin Kingdom? Mm. Is there a Mota or something? You walked into that one, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, uh, uh, the Kanu Empire. Yeah. The, yeah. the mm -hmm. you know, the Joss Caliphate, you know, all of that and all yeah. of it. So we had more of the Oyo Empire, mm -hmm. you know, the Caliphate and all of that. So we learned about of these things individually. But I feel like with every generation, yeah. they ha you have to upgrade what you learn to be... Uh, conversant with what is going on now. So we should have more history, as much as these are important, we should have more history from when we came together yeah. as a nation mm -hmm. or when we were, you know, when we were put together mm -hmm. and understand that we share something as Nigerians, one way or the other. Yeah. We're, in, we're in this together. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I was, um, I saw, uh, I saw this video yesterday of a, a young boy who was traveling, maybe for studies or something, mm -hmm. you know, and then he was, he was supposed to leave, and then he, the way he held on to his mom, I was mm. crying, you know? And a number of things came to my mind. I was like, okay, we should work towards ensuring that the, we don't separate. That might be, that might be the last time he might see his mom. Very true. Mm. Mm. I, I saw, I, mm. is a friend of mine who was saying that they surprised her dad mm. to, by bringing his brother from abroad. To the, no. Okay. He, the brother went to, was in, in, in Canada, so oh, the dad was maybe UK or US. They, they brought the brother to the dad's birth, 60th birthday. I think I saw that video. And they had not oh. seen for 30 years. I saw that video. Goodness and I was like, my, wow. my man, they had not seen for 30 years. Mm -hmm. So when, when there was a migration, brother went to one country. Mm -hmm. Jenna went to one country. 30 years. That's the reality of life. So yeah. you know, I just want to I say want that to, we get to a point yeah. where as a country, mm -hmm. we, we, would, we try to work towards uh, having that country such a way that we don't tear ourselves so far mm -hmm. apart down. 
We have so families that grew away. We, we do you know, have all those so nuggets different. of uh, civic education that we all remember, you know, the number of states, you know, state and capital. Past and, presidents, and then heads, where, of states and all of heads of states and the like. Um, but the thing is, I think it's actually based on how much, um, how much of an impact different presidents had on the parents we have. True. Uh, which will make them have discussions. Mm -hmm. Very um, so, for instance, uh, my parents always used to talk about go on go because on. of all the, you know, all the infrastructures you put Weren't in Weren't you born there? Uh, really? You really? Were? <laughs> not, not everybody is as old as you and Mike, but go so, on. Well, no, Mike, Mike's still very young. I don't cast him like that. Uh, oh, right here, Mike, I'm fighting for you. Bullets, no, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm old, I'm not young. <laughs> I want to try, touch on trials. this issue of, of, no of you know, being <laughs> aspiring to be president. You know, if you ask a child in America, you know, well, if you maybe one, two in ten probably mm. would tell you they wouldn't mind being the president. That's because of the it's part of the things you need yeah. to know to even be a citizen. Yeah, there are, even in the UK, yeah. there are certain questions you'll be asked yeah. when you want to naturalize yeah. that you know you need to know basic things, but accents, then, certain but catchphrases. It, so where I was going with that, Mary, was actually how many of our kids aspire to be president of Nigeria? Ah, many of them. You know? Are you, that, sure? are you why sure? Why are they aspiring? That? I think that should be the question. Oh, wow. There are Mary. many young people who are aspiring <laughs> to be president, but why are they aspiring? Mm. My thought has always been that a people with no history are a lost people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If, if you cannot move forward, you need to at least look back yeah. and learn lessons. Mm -hmm. There are certain things that are happening now, like talk, talk about civil war and stuff, yeah. mm -hmm. that I believe if people were really conversant with the reality, especially of what it is like, mm -hmm. taking a look at um, Sudan, for example, now, yeah. you would avoid certain mm -hmm. issues. Mm -hmm. Nigeria is a great country, mm -hmm. and it is only going to get better. We can Amen only choose to, to be positive. Mm -hmm. yeah. As much as mm -hmm. there might be things that will try to hold us back it's 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 something we we should take responsibility yeah. for mm -hmm. and children knowing these things history and the likes mm -hmm. it's something that the children themselves should be made to uh, take as part of their everyday life mm -hmm. social studies is still being taught yeah. thankfully, mm -hmm. thankfully. Mm -hmm. taught. and that and, and i know history nuggets are usually thrown in there as well i would like to just simply okay. put this in plug this in and say i think uh, when you talk about nationhood as a concept it, it, we always hear or think of it as something that's left for governance yeah, yeah. but it's wrong yeah. Mm. I think it's one and every other person, Absolutely. you as an individual, True. if Absolutely. you have that sense about you, that moral yeah. about you, I think it's going to transcend mm. throughout yeah. your small community, larger community, your local government, your state and all. Yeah. We just have to note that I am responsible. Mm. Yeah. That's mm. the mistake we make as a yeah. nation, yes. thinking so that mm, so they'll take care of not my right. business. No, it's your so business. Said, you want to change yeah. the world, yeah. you have to start by changing yourself. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. The smallest you unit that. of society, they say, is the family. Mm -hmm. And if you've not started teaching your family about things they could do to impact, positively impact their mm -hmm. nation, their mm -hmm. country. Mm -hmm. So, you know, where is it supposed to start from? Is it going to start from the schools? Probably not. Let me give you well, an example, a very small example, a very local example. I, I saw this man who, uh, he was, he was ri driving this rather nice car. Mm. Stops by the side of the road, opens his trunk, and then he brings out a, uh, what do you call these, uh, pong pong? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. The, um, what do you call them in English? Uh, okay, it's, it's a, basically a bowl. Big basin. Carry basin. Cement. Yeah. Mm. Cement. Yeah. And he brought yeah. it out brought out a couple of bricks and then he commenced to actually place it inside of a, a pothole in the middle of the road and I'm like you're driving a big car yeah and I stop and I'm like what are you doing and he told me well if he doesn't do it it's gonna go bad mm. so and it's gonna get a worse. stitch in time so remind me of a yeah. swastika that actually that's what he did impacted me in yeah. such a way that I'm like if he can do that if everybody yeah. had that sense about themselves that yeah. it's not it's not our property, it's my property. Yeah. I think we'll have a better... This is exactly yeah. what Swaznigga did. Yeah. Exactly what he did. I mean, there, you see stuff and in a day, in a few hours, it's gone. Exactly. He said this one was there for three days, a pothole. He came down himself. There's a, the video is trending. I mean, this is about 60-something, 70-year-old man. Yeah. He started putting it and covered the wall. Wow. We need to take personal that's... responsibility. I think that's something yeah. we are sadly lacking as mm. people. You mm. know how to blame others, but then what are you doing in your own yeah. small space yeah. to make Nigeria better? So uh, during the live broadcast today, you're going to see the oath of office being taken. Maybe we should also say it along with uh, the incoming uh, president of Nigeria. All right, let's take a quick break. At this point, we'll be back with more right here on Wake Up Nigeria. So help us God. Amen.